ITV bosses are reportedly desperately working on a series of new game show projects for Alison Hammond in a bid to lock her into a new exclusive contract with the broadcaster. Sources have reportedly confirmed that execs are searching for other light entertainment shows for the 48-year-old away from this morning. It follows concerns that Holly Willoughby, 42, could be tempted by the BBC following the furor that Philip Schofield's exit has caused. It was reported last week that BBC bosses had reached out to Holly. Allison, who rose to fame on Big Brother, was announced as Matt Lucas's replacement as host of The Great British Bake Off earlier this year. Hammond will co-host the Channel 4 show alongside the Mighty Boosh star Noel Fielding. One source told The Mirror, ITV bosses want to cut a new deal with Allison. They are seriously worried about Holly talking to the BBC and fear she could be next. She is incredibly popular and is perceived as very honest, which is worth a lot following Philip's admission that he lied to everyone. The source added, while Bake Off is factual, ITV don't want to see Allison working on entertainment formats with any other channel. They want to lock her in, and there has even been talk of a golden handcuff steal solely for entertainment shows with ITV. That kind of deal could see her land a salary worth as much as £500,000 a year, but there are currently no plans in place for that. Don't miss! Holly Willoughby reacts as co-host supports her after backlash over statement, latest, Willoughby's this morning return on Monday, her first appearance since Philip's resignation, saw her make an emotional statement to camera. However it did not receive the desired response, with many mocking her opening question to viewers, Are you okay? ITV Group Director Magnus Brook appeared at a hearing of the Culture, Media and Sport Committee on Tuesday, June 6, where he criticized this morning editor Martin Frizzell for ill-judged comments to the media following the Schofield promotion. ITV boss Caroline McCall is set to appear before the same committee this week.